Hello, I'm Axel Bojoj and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now we are in the month of March, praise God. And the Lord says he is positioning us in this month. Every child of God is receiving a one kind of positioning for great exploits. Praise God. God is about to do something on the earth and he's doing it with his children and you are his child. So get ready, praise God. Get ready. I don't know if I'm qualified for what God is about to do. Hey, no. Only qualification you need is to listen for his voice. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we come for that daily prayer? Join me right now as we declare, say, Father, I, I demand and I receive today the bread for this day. It's coming to me now. I receive all of it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, praise God. God said God is positioning you. He's positioning your life. He's positioning your family. He's positioning you at your job. He's positioning you in the kind of business he wants you to get involved with. He's just positioning you in every way. Praise God. So listen, expect new associates. Expect new friends this month. Expect new business ideas. Now things are just going to happen. The principle is simple. Time and chance happens to everyone. But this is it. And I was sharing with you yesterday why it's important to pray. We pray, look, just like Jesus shared, that you don't give up. Why would you give up in the first place? Challenges of life. Things will be thrown at you. And they are all to distract you and make you give up. They want to make you faint. But if you will stand in faith against every distraction, listen to me, God is there with you. He says he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. How well have you trust in him that is with you? Do you even believe that he is with you? I mean, you now watching me right now, do you take, take a moment, just take a moment and ask yourself this question. Do I really believe God is with me? Or how do I know that God is with me? Is he with me? Now we know God does not lie. So when he said that, he didn't lie. And he wasn't saying that to a specific person. He said this, speaking to his disciples and says, Lo, I am with you all the way even to the end of the world and how hit of the world he was speaking to judas you know in, in john chapter 14 in the bible says judas not judas is carried now the other judas he asked him a very intelligent question he says sir how are you going to reveal yourself to us and not to the world see so now he didn't say to me alone. He says to us, us who? Your disciples. So if you have believed in Jesus Christ and you follow him, you are his disciples. So the answer Jesus gave was directly connected to what the, the question Judas asked. And that includes you, praise God. So he said, this is how it is. If a man loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him. And we will come and make our abode with him. Now, what do you mean God will be doing making his abode with you? What's, what's, what, do you what would you enjoy if God comes to make his home with you? I'll tell you this, and this is the truth. You are going to enjoy clear instructions. Clear instructions. This is it. If you find yourself in the presence of a great man and maybe you're living in the same house for whatever reason, you just find yourself in the same place. The smartest thing for you to do is to listen 
hard for the words and instructions that will come out of his mouth. Why? It will bring you prosperity. It will bring you. Don't be too concerned about the money that this person has. Be concerned about the instruction that this person is going to give to you. Because I'll tell you what. In that instruction comes trust. And in trust comes support. And any kind of provision. It's the same thing with the Lord. Oh God, give me money. Oh God, give me money. And then you don't get any answer. But let me tell you one secret. Lord, what would you have me do today? What's your plan today? And then the Lord begins to talk to you. And says, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm thinking of doing. Oh, wow, Lord, that's good. That's a great idea. How do I come in? What would you have me do? See, now the moment the Lord begins to share his thoughts and his plans with you, you are growing from being a child of God to a friend of God. Now that's very, very important. Now all this is in the realm of praying. Because when you pray, this is what you should expect. That's what I'm sharing with you. And this is how God positions you. Your part is prayer. What kind of prayer? Fellowship. Not I'm going to pray for two hours today. Araka. Regede, broko ma ba 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 ba, roko doze bragida. Oh, time, oh, thirty minutes. Okay, I've done thirty minutes. Rakaka. No, you are just doing some exercise, which is good. But you see, you might do that and not gain much in terms of working relationship. The moment you start praying, your heart should be on one thing. I'm praying for instructions. I'm waiting for instructions. Ecclesiastes 2.26, I'll tell you again. It says, God gives to the one that is good in his sight, wisdom, knowledge, and joy. That's the thing that he gives you freely. So I pray like Ibarada Gazaba. While I'm praying, I'm expecting to receive. What do I expect to receive? Instructions instructions now because i'm engaged with the holy spirit he will be engaged with me too praise god you remember john said draw near unto god and what will god do he will draw near unto you now how do i draw near to god lord i want to know what's on your mind you know sometimes you just say lord what's on your mind today you wake up in the morning you know well you know sometimes people just do really just stuff okay i've woken up now let me pray okay before i pray let me wash it first i love you lord and i leave my voice then you sing two songs after you sing two songs i say ah i've worshiped now now let me begin to pray so what do i pray for okay you know you know those days say let's first of all pray before we approach the throne of grace if there's any sin in our lives let us pray that the lord will forgive us and cleanse us so that we cannot pray so enough say oh father i may have sinned maybe in the night when i was sleeping i may have said something that is wrong or maybe yesterday i you know listen that's religion that's religion and then you finish that prayer and then i say now that we have asked god to forgive our sin can we begin to make requests unto the lord and then i say if we pray according to his will he will hear us how do you know you know his will but think about it you wake up in the morning father you know no i mean sometimes like, good morning sir it's a wonderful day today i know you've got great plans so what's on your mind today lord what's on your mind You've just said something to the Lord and it's open. What's on your mind, Lord? I don't know. What are you thinking? You, you know, you said to Abraham, I, I will not do anything without telling you. I won't hide it from you. Because Abraham was your friend. And I think I'm your friend also. Oh, you don't know that? Then befriend him. Lord, I'm your friend. So you don't hide things from me, Lord. <laughs> God, don't hide things from me. Don't hide things out of Listen, you should, you should, and that's when God begins to introduce you to the life of a watchman. Nothing should happen in your environment without your knowledge. Nothing should happen in your environment 
without your knowledge. Now, what do I mean without your knowledge? And what do I mean your environment? Your environment means anywhere that you dwell, office, residence, anything that you're involved with. Nothing should just happen that takes you by great surprise. Nothing. Why? Because there are angels walking in that place. And listen, if you are in that place, every angel, now listen, 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 listen. Every angel in that vicinity should recognize that a special child of God is in that place. Now we are all children of God, get it? But then some of us grow to the place where we participate with the Lord. Now, there are certain people who, are, I want you to listen to me. There are certain people who are just concerned about being servants of God. Servants of God, you all wait for instruction. Go here, do this. Yes, sir, we will do it. But then you grow to the place where you really participate with God. When God will tell you, this is what I want you to do. And then you can say, Lord, I'm thinking we, 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 we can do it like this. What do you think? Hey! Remember, he says, who have known the mind of God that he may instruct him? It's a question. But here's what he said afterwards. But we have the mind of Christ. Do you know what it is to have the mind of Christ? It means God can depend on you for wisdom. You, you don't know. You God's children sometimes don't even know how to function with their father. Beyond children of God. No, children always look up to their father. We need this, we need this. Hey, he demands a quality friendship relationship. A son grows up to be the friend to his father. You know that, right? Now, it doesn't take away his sonship from him. But then that friendship gets, he, that son gets to the place where he becomes, the, he becomes his father's gist partner. He becomes his father's gossip partner. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, guy, uh -uh, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think? Say, like, mm, I think we should do it this way. It will work out this way better. All right, okay, handle it and let me see how it comes out. Yeah, that's French. So God can begin to talk to you. Imagine God going to Sodom. He said, look, I've got to stop by and visit my friend and tell him what I'm planning to do. And he didn't just tell Abraham, say, that's what I'm planning to do. So Abraham, keep quiet. I've told you what I want to do. No, he allowed Abraham's impute in the matter. Now, this is God for you. Sometimes we don't understand why God tells us things. We don't understand. And that's why people don't even know how to function in the office of a prophet. You just think God is telling you something and it's a concluded matter, so it's going to happen. No! If it's a concluded matter, he won't bother telling you. It will just happen. Anytime God opens his mouth to tell you something, he, ah, bar ezefu fundehenekiya. He's looking for your wisdom. He's looking for your wisdom. The same way we approach him and say, Lord, how do we go about this? What are we doing? We're looking for his wisdom. Now God comes to you and says, look, this is what I am going to do. You know what, what, what spoils the whole thing most times? You think the fact that God has told you, you want to go tell it first. This is what is going to happen. That's not why God is telling you. He's not telling you to go declare it so that you now look like a man of God. <laughs> no, no, no. He's sharing his thoughts with you. And what does he want you to do? Say, Father, thank you for this privilege of telling me this thing. But Lord, I'm thinking, if we do it this way, think about it. Wouldn't it be better? And then the Lord will say, this is why I won't do it that way. Like, oh, okay, Lord, I didn't think of that. Sometimes you can engage him even if you don't win. But see, he, he especially when God is coming to church, remember the Bible says he is slow to anger. 
So all these things he's coming to share with you is to restrain him from carrying out that act of judgment. But what do you do? Praise God. My time is up. Praise God. Ah, ah, listen, listen. Value yourself in God's presence. Value yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful and fruitful day. And remember, God is positioning you. Receive that position in Jesus' name. Amen.